Hello, and welcome to Tip of the Week. This week we're going to cover how to create a custom annotation tag in Revit architecture structure in MEP that you can do anything with. Kind of a free form tag. Kind of AutoCAD-esque, I guess. Now, we're going to go over to Revit, and this works in Revit architecture structure MEP. Okay. Uh, so here we are in a Revit file, and we want to create a new annotation tag. So I'm going to drop down the R, go to New, Family. The new family I'm going to create is actually called uh, whoop, annotation, generic annotation. Now when we come in here, it's going to have some tips for us. We're actually going to take that out, change the family category, etc. We don't need that. We'll delete that. Now I'll come in here and I'm going to draw a circle. Now I'm going to put the circle in first, though I may want to end up putting it second because of the size of the text. I'm just going to make it any size and we'll just be okay with that. Now it comes time to putting in the label. This is the important part. We go back to home and we hit label. Now when label pops up, we're going to place it. Now I say center, center. I'm going to place it right here. Now it places it in. And it says we need to create a, uh, a particular parameter. So I click on it here. Now I'm going to call it bubble text. Now notice it's uppercase. That'll actually travel through. You'll notice in a moment. I'm going to say this is an instance parameter. And is it a length? No. I say I want it to be text. That gives me full capabilities to put just about anything in there. I hit OK, and it says bubble text. So I'll push it over, and I'll put some sample text in here. Let's just say um, maybe a couple letters, maybe uh, 88. OK. We hit OK. Now you see it puts it in there. So that, that label is 330 seconds. Now, I may make the circle a little bigger to fit that text. And it's looking better. I'll grab this text and I'll actually squeeze the box. That's called a label, and we squeeze it to fit the object. So now it needs a wrap. Uh, we're good to go. So there's our little label. Uh, pretty quick, we're able to put that together. Now let's load into the project. We load into the project, and you'll see it's stuck to our cursor. Now uh, it's called Family Four because we didn't save it. If we would have saved it, it would give it a name. Now we place it. So there it is. Now if I select the object, you'll notice I can come in here and it says bubble text. I'll say 45. Enter. Notice how it puts 45 in there. Now the cool thing is we can select it and we have some other options here. Uh, see it says add a leader. Add a leader. Okay, so it added a leader. And now we'll just take that leader and we'll spin it around. And we'll spin it on over and we'll point it to an object. Now we can even go to edit type and we'll change the leader arrowhead. We'll change it to let's say a field 20. Hit OK. And there it is. So now the cool thing about this is if I go change the scale, I'm going to change it to quarter inch. You'll notice that, again, that tag updated. All right, I'll change it to, let's say, a sixteenth of an inch. You see how it updated. So we have a cool little tag that is uh, user-friendly, and we can put any number in it that we want. And it's not tied to anything. So it's kind of a, you could use some other tools to do this, but you'll see real easy in um, Revit to add multiple leaders to this little tag, to whatever we need to make it do. And um, that's it. So that is how you create a custom annotation tag in Revit at, in all versions, Revit architecture, MEP, and structure. If you have any questions about our company, feel free to check us out on the web. That is cadtechseminars.com or easier to remember, freerevittraining.com.